Okay, so this is my second example. This time we want to represent minus 15.5. We're using a similar setup. We're using a 16 bit word and we're using 10 bits for the mantissa and 6 bits for the exponent. So again, the first thing I'm going to do is to convert the absolute value of the decimal to a fixed point binary number. So for 15, it turns out that I will have 1, 1, 1, 1, binary point 1. So that is my absolute value. Absolute there meaning I'm ignoring the negative now. The second thing I'm going to do, I'm going to move the binary point so that the first digit after the binary point is a 1. So in this case, I'm moving 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm saying 4 to my left. Again, I'm putting that in brackets because I'll need that information later. The next thing I'm going to do is to replace the binary point with a 0 and pad the right of the number until I have 10 bits. So my number is 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And here it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I need four zeros to go up to 10 bits. So I've never replaced my banner point with a zero and I've padded the right of my number, my banner number to give me 10 bits. Now if the original number was a negative number, I'm going to convert to two's complement. So it was in this case, I'm going to convert to two's complement. I'm going to use the alternate method to convert to two's complement. And in the alternate method, I'm just copying from right to left. So I'm copying until I copy a one, then I flip my other bits. Okay. Of course, the other method you could have used is just to flip the bits and then add one to it. So it turns out that this is my tools complement and it's also my mantissa so that's my mantissa next thing I want to do is to convert to work on my exponent so for my exponent now I'm going to convert the number of places that I move in this case it is 4 so I'm going to represent 4 in binary, which is 1, 0, 0. And I'm going to pad this to the right until I have 6 bits. Then I'm going to check if my number that I move, the number of places I move, if I move to the left, I'm going to keep it. If I move to the right, then I'm going to turn it into 2's complement. But it turns out that in this case, I didn't move to the right. so it turns out that this is my exponent. So I have my mantissa, I have my exponent, so I can write my floating point number. So my floating point number is going to be 1, then 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. That's my mantissa. My exponent is going to be 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And then that is my floating point number in 2's complement. Just a note here that this number is not normalized. I'm just going to leave it there for now. And in our next lesson when we look at normalizing these numbers, you'll understand what I mean when I say it's not normalized in this state.